My name's Anita Baxis. I'm a medical doctor. I uh, grew up and studied medicine in Switzerland, practiced there for many, many years. In alternative therapy, since before I started medicine, as my dad was in that field already, because my younger sister was born with, born with Down syndrome. Um, before that, he had a general practitioner's office. And after she was born, he was looking to see how he could help her, and he stumbled on cell therapy. So he treated her with that. From there on, it went to chelation and all kinds of other alternative treatments. So I grew up with it. And then in 1994, my mom got sick with angina pectoris. She had a balloon angioplasty done. Six weeks later, she had chest pains again. She had another angioplasty done, took about six weeks, chest pains came back. And that was the time when uh, we heard about this treatment in Germany that was done with phosphatidylcholine. So we investigated that and uh, we started treating her and she never had chest pains again. So that's how plaque X therapy got to be. And uh, dad spoke to many doctors about it, mostly in the US, they were all interested. And we started having it made in Germany. Um, it's a treatment that was developed in the 1950s. It's been used in many different European countries, also in Russia, mainly to prevent fatty embolism in patients who had a fractured femur and needed uh, orthopedic surgery for it. Um, we figured if it can dissolve fatty embolism, it would probably dissolve fatty plaque. And it worked well in my mom. We started treating other patients. It worked really fine. Up to that point, we have used chelation therapy to treat patients that had angina or carotid stenosis or peripheral vascular disease. And we did see some results, but we weren't really that happy with it. And after we started using the plaque X, the results came much, much faster. The treatment was also easier to do. It was safer to do and um, much shorter. Instead of sitting for three and a half hours for chelation treatment, the patient sat for one and a half hours. So we developed the protocol according to the experiences we were gathering and according to the studies that were done in the 50s, 60s and 70s, mostly in Germany and Italy. Um, meanwhile, many doctors in the US, they have heard about plaque X. There are quite a few doing it. Um, but as it is with most of these things, there are a lot of rumors going around of how to do it, where to get the product. Uh, for example, there's a confusion um, with some doctors that think the uh, essential end from Germany is much better, whereas it's actually the exact same thing, only it was developed to treat fatty liver. That's why they added some B vitamins to it. And it's illegal to use in this country, it needs to be imported. So doctors using it, they are risking their license. Um, that's one of the reasons we started working with a compounding pharmacy to give them the opportunity to make it the right way. So it is identical to the German treatment and it's legal now to use since quite a while. Um, there are also confusions about what protocol to use what to do, what not to do, and there is a quick fix mentality in our society. So some doctors, they started doing an IV push therapy, giving a very small dose without diluting it. Um, the thing is that doesn't really work to remove plaque, and I've written a paper on that. Um, so in my presentation, I want to give doctors the hands-on knowledge, what they need to know to do it correctly. It's a very safe treatment. It's easy to do, but there are many different points one has to take care of uh, following in the protocol to really have it be safe. So in my presentation, which will be probably an hour, they will learn exactly what they need to do. They can all ask all the questions they have, and I will give them the theoretical background so they know why does it work? What are the different effects of phosphatidylcholine? Um, there's also confusion about phosphatidylcholine. That's this general term used, sometimes called lecithin, but they're not all the same. There are de many different kinds of phosphatidylcholine. So they'll get to know what is the difference and which one is it they really need to use. Um, there are some pitfalls I'll tell them about. There are some exceptions to the standard protocol they'll need to know. 
So I just want the correct information to get out there. So not every doctor cooks up his own little recipe in his office and runs into problems. That's my main objective. Well, I think it's important that doctor do take the time and attend the conference and learn it from the horse's mouth. Since I'm the one that developed the protocol, I've treated all the patients, I've read all the studies, um, and I've written the book on it. So if they want to know how to do it right and get the results, they should come and listen to my lecture.